What's up, guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. Like I needed to tell you that, but Joe is here in the studio. That means he's still afoot. So let's take a look and see what he's got. Come on. good weekend I know I did um, I forgot to bring a bucket of cash in but I'll get that later we'll start off with some uh, I got some gear wrench gear wrench came out they've been holding up on their screwdrivers a little bit because they got a new design set up on these there's part number up here 20 piece 20, 20 piece set Phillips flat Got some small ones and then some small torch, two stubbies. Cool. Oh, I should probably open that so you can get a better picture. Getting some glare on there? Yeah, that's all right. Look at this. I've done this before. Look at this. There we go. Presto. Oh, pop that baby in there. Pretty good selection of screwdrivers so, there. These are some pretty little. Uh, Phillips, pretty little flats, and looks like Torx. So, cool. what they done new with these, different, is their tri-lobe. Oh, yeah. That way you got a better grip. That's a lot better feel in your oh, hand, too. It is. Man, it that's way better. in your hands. But what they also did was, in the design, they made these grips so they're oil-resistant and... Uh, solvent resistant so at the same time as they're new and better improved on the grip they're not going to fall apart melt in your hands as they would say yep so they're better here some of the larger ones have a noogie on here so you put a wrench oh, yeah, on there it's not not like nice. it's really big or anything but mm -hmm. you can you have the hardened tip and they're actually designed to get you better better grip on a tip and they all are Right. Stamped, you know, so you know what size you have. They say uh, you end up doing something to them. But anyways, the tips are also a little bit magnetic as well, we've been finding out. So cool. it don't say it on the package. I, I looked, but uh, we found out they are magnetic. 20-piece set. Um, they're 150, 150, but I got them on sale for 135. Cool. That's so, cheap enough for them. 135, brand new. They just been released. Those are nice. I've been going through them pretty, pretty quick, and somehow uh, FedEx has three, three of my boxes somewhere in limbo, but they're under, they're coming to me, but three boxes of some sort of tools. I'm proud they did that, that tri-lobe design. That's a whole lot better feel, oh, and the is. grip's 10 it times better. Same. And I guess that's full lifetime replacement. They don't just replace the blades. No. The whole yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Gear wrench, so, you know, something happens, you get you get this. Right. You give me something broke, you get a new one. Cool. You can't right. beat that. That's it. So, um, I, we might have done this a while ago. Max Beam Light. Mm hmm. You got a wireless, wireless charging charger. Base. Now, it's also magnetic. It's got a strong magnet here. Uh, we got mag metal here, but I pulled it off the wall. It is a strong magnet. It pivots. Mm -hmm. It'll do a 360. So this will stick wherever you want. And you got the light bars up there. It'll tell you. I like that battery uh, meter. You know, as it's on, it tells you where you are as far as charges. Now, it goes on, it gets brighter, up to 1,200 looms. Now, we have flood, and then you can... Put it into a focus beam. Focus, yeah. So you can zoom in on what, where you want the light or just shine it all the way around. And I have a few guys put this up underneath the hood. And guess what? It right. gets, it gets, it's under hood light. Yep. It's a magnet. It, the, it's a plastic hood. There's a hook. Mm -hmm. There's a hook. So you got to love the hook. Oh, 
Yeah, that's right. Don't do that. One of the guys was telling me this weekend that had one of these, and you may not know this, but you can charge your cell, cell phone, phone. Yeah. with the base. So yep. that's that's yeah, cool. the base, wireless charger, and and that's why I tell people you set this up so you have it flat instead of vertical on the wall, right. so you just lay your phone on it. Mm -hmm. Don't charge your cell phone on it. Can't beat that. Yeah. Dual yeah. purpose. Oh hey. Tools with multi uses are awesome. Hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. Hundred bucks. That's cheap. Reasonable. Can't buy it on them other trucks for that. Reasonable. So I got uh, one of my St. Mark scopes. This here one is a uh, it's dialed in for a 350 legend. Now some guys will know what, what caliber that is, some uh, won't uh, I should have brought a shell in here. It's kind of a sexy bullet. I, I, I don't know that I've ever heard that used before, Joe. Well, yeah. When you Never see heard it, the when word you, when sexy you it, bullet you, you know in the I mean. same sense. But it's actually that, uh, that it's calibrated uh, rectal for the 350 Legend. So, but that uh, one of the things that it does for you. It, gives, it does a little range finding for you, as far as if you're shooting against, uh, you need to get rid of some coyotes or you need to get rid of some deer. You know, what's eating time. So, but they show you to dial, to set it up at 200 yard zero, and then you got the couple dots and it'll take you down to, is that 500 yards and last dot. Cool. So, so if you guys have got a gun that shoots sexy bullets, Joe's got the scope yeah, for yeah, you. I'm telling you, you know, you got, if you don't have one, you need one. <laughs> At least buy one of the bullets and set it up on the shelf, right, yeah, if it's sexy. But uh, it gives you a range finder for, for deer in here, for coyotes, uh, shows you uh, for hogs, but uh, it's pretty cool. So... Mm -hmm. Cool. It reads that all in there, but what you all get with this, and St. Mark's pretty good with that, you get a set of scope rings in the box. Okay. You get a neoprene scope cover that when you have it set up on your... It when keeps it's all your, the weather all Either over. in your case or you're out traveling, you got a, a scope cover case that goes on. That all comes in it. Um, these here are 220. 220. Well, did my impact come back? Has my impact come back yet? No. Um, like I said, uh, FedEx has two or three of my boxes floating somewhere. Um, I have no idea. Oh, well. Uh, the first problem was I didn't send it out because I didn't know whose who's it was. <laughs> that, that was. That was my... Uh, I had no... Uh, no, uh, no new news on the truck? No news on my truck. Uh, I was talking to them before I got here. They're putting something together on it, trying it uh, right now, or in the process of that. And then they're going to find out. Uh, can't keep quite certain it's not going to do anything, but that's what Ford Sonoma has got to do. And. Mm. I really wish I could say something better about it, but I can't. Uh, I've asked a few times, and uh, actually somebody last week put up somebody's name that does uh, lemon law lawsuits on the, on the webpage, so I appreciate that. I try not really cry and whining about it because I'm, I'd be doing that forever on this thing. Yeah, um, I'd do something. I'd call that lawyer or something. I'd do something, Joe. Oh, yeah. This is... Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, it's, just think if it's beyond ridiculous. I mean, I mean, that's how you make your living with that. You you entrusted your business with Ford to come up with a vehicle. They need to so get their crap together. Uh, a week or so ago, and I pull in there and they asked me, I says, "You got a new truck yet?" I says, "No, I'm so sorry, I don't." I says, "I says you're probably going to find out about this. I probably don't have a truck. It's a ghost truck." Uh, the dealership likes it better than I had like it. Want, they feel they deserve to have it more than I should have it. I don't know, but uh, you know they kind of laugh. <laughs> they they've heard they've heard the story before. 
But, uh, well, maybe one day you'll be back rolling. Uh, it won't be soon enough, I can tell you that. If I was you, I'd be specking out something else where I can go I, ahead and trade I, in. I am working on a couple different things. I'm just not telling everybody what's going on because I have no idea who's all listening and I'm not giving up all my cards. Yeah. But uh, I am also keeping options open for, you know, until something's really working and I mean, I need to fight on this. I need to fight hard on it. Um, I appreciate all you. Tomorrow, I am having minor leg surgery on my leg, so I'm going to be uh, kind of out for two and a half, three hours. My wife's driving me back home, and, you know, it's just minor. But yeah. Hopefully it all goes well. Yes. Um, you get to feeling better and bounce back quick. Yep. Uh, I have no choice to do that. That's it. Other than that, uh, wish you all a great week ahead. I plan on it. Uh, if there's anything you need, just give me a call or shout. I've been getting pictures back from guys. I've been sending them pocket pry bars all over. Guys are ordering like fours, sixes, eights of them at a time. Yeah, there you uh, go. Which is kind of neat. And I've gotten the, uh, I gotten uh, shipping pretty cheap on that. I mean, it's like maybe around six bucks. So okay, it's really not costing a bunch to ship those out prices. So cool. if you need them, give me a call. If I didn't get some out to you, um, give me a call and or a text, and I'll get that taken care of. There you go. All right, guys. Joe's number seven three one four one two seven two nine five. Be sure to give him a text. If you answer, if you call him, it's gonna say I'm driving right now. I can't talk, so just shoot him a text. Be a lot easier. Like always, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for discounts. They're in the description. Merchandise is right here. And if you're not subscribed, it don't cost you a dime. Click that button. Just press that button. That's all you got to do. Thumbs up. We'll see you guys later.